right, I have half of my work done, but I am taking a lunch break. I'm just outside here to show you what, I, what we're eating for lunch. Now, when I have a busy day or hubby has a busy day outside working, I really don't do a whole lot of cooking. I'll be honest with you, when it's really hot and it's summertime and I'm working and hubby's working outside, we just have a quick lunch. And so what I do is I have on hand Progresso soup. This is their white bean and it's nice to have this on hand. I want to this winter do more of my batch cooking and then have it in the freezer. We used up all those meals. I'm sure you can figure that out. We used up all of the meals. I did so much batch cooking, but I would love to do some of the soup. But we just opened up a can of soup. I'm gonna go in and eat lunch with hubby. And then I take about a 45 minute break and then I'll be back out and we're gonna finish planting and whatever I decide to do. I do have everything, I like to say this, I have everything under control. <laughs> and I feel like I do. I feel like I have everything under control now. We had our rain, things are looking better in the garden. I'm starting to plant all of my things outside that were in that greenhouse. Eventually, these greenhouses are gonna turn into big dehydrators. And I use them to dehydrate all of my herbs. Not food, but herbs. So I'll hang them up and it looks so pretty. But right now I still got a lot of things planted in both of the greenhouses. All right, my soup is cooled off. And I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to go and eat with hubby. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Mm, it smells so yummy. All right, so lunch is over. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna transplant a few things. When I work on my garden here, I try to keep in mind the color. So I wanna have color all throughout the garden. And this here was Tasha Tudor's, and this was the lupine. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lupine down here. It's gonna give a really pretty purple color next year. And that's just gonna help really balance out the color in this beautiful garden. So let's go ahead and let's plant this. Now these were seeds that I grew back in the spring. You're gonna tap the bottom of it and see how that comes out. And you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna put it right in this hole like this. So you're gonna lift it up and fill it back in with the dirt. Now it may be a little wilted for a day or two, but it will come up really pretty. And I have a rock, so this goes back where the rocks go. All right, that's done. I'm gonna make sure we water it really good. Let's keep working on the other plants. All right, everyone, I got everything watered and I am finished working outside. Some of these videos may seem a little repetitious, but that's how it is here at my home. I do a lot of different things at different times of the year. I need to this evening go ahead and deadhead all of these roses beside me because the roses will rebloom if you take the old blooms off. I need to do that and I also need to work on my irises and all of my bulbs from the spring. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me. We all have different methods of doing things and I hope that you learn something through my videos, but more important, I hope that you feel encouraged by them. All right, so I am reorganizing my pantry. And by doing that, I thought what a wonderful way to decorate it. Oh, this is huge. <laughs> oh my word, this is absolutely huge. Oh my word. It's like really, really big. I got to stand up to show you this. It is a rug. I have never in my life seen such a big rug. So that's gonna go in the pantry, but I'm got to stand up to show you that. So we're just gonna put that, put that over there. You can tell I really don't know my sizes very well. So I was just picking a size because normally with companies like this, it's smaller than what you think. So you just order really, really big. Well, in this case, it's really, really big. This is the laundry one. Ta-da! I do have a laundry room. I never showed it because I never had a reason to use it. Now, I still only have my portable washing machine. That's the only washing machine that I have. But eventually, I'm going to get a regular washing machine. But until then, 
we have my little one. And the little washing machine is actually in my laundry room, but it's in the way. So I have to redo my laundry room totally. We want to gut it out and redo it. But I got this and I thought this was really neat. So I really, really like this laundry one. And this rug back here is huge. I, I don't know. We'll have to see where it goes. I wanted it out for the, out, the pantry. Okay. So let me show you what I got. I love these. Now these are the bee, the bees, and they are solar lights. If you guys remember many years ago in 2019, my videos, I had these bee lights, but they stopped working through the years. And they're little bee lights and you can have them at night. They flicker, oh, so much fun. I absolutely love these. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with them yet. Then I did get these. I tried to get practical things and things that I can replace some of my dingy stuff. That's what I tried to do. I'm not adding any more stuff to my house. So this rug is going to replace a really bad looking rug. And then I got these reusable, they're called reusable paper towels, but they are like dishcloths. And that's the philosophy, whether I'm at the thrift store, wherever I am. I, if I'm going to replace something, I'm going to replace it and not keep adding. Oh, my house is so neat looking. It's like I am 53 years old and my house is looking exactly now how I want it to look. But this rug is huge and I'll show it to you. So I got to get up. Let me go clean everything up and then I'll show you what the rug looks like. And I put it in here because it just looks nice and it's really, really big. It's big enough to fit almost a whole room. So we just put the rocking chair back on top of it. Very nice and soft and it goes perfect in my pantry because it says spices on it. This portion of the video is I'm going to share with you a little bit of a tip from my house to yours. If you love buying things at the discount grocery store, one of the big deals that you can get is with butter. I recently just snatched all of this butter and it was $1.99. I got four packs of it because it's close to expiration date. Butter really doesn't last that long in the refrigerator, but you can freeze it for a very long time. So I got this butter. I never saw anything like it. It's in balls and it is in one half tablespoons. So it's balls, but it's a half a tablespoon each one. And I'm going to freeze it. Instead of freezing it in its container like this, I'm going to freeze it into mason jars. Did you know that mason jars you can use in the freezer as well as with canning? So we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to take one container and I'm going to put it in the mason jars. And that's what they look like. So one of these would last you probably about two weeks and that way you can pull one of these out and have the rest in the freezer. Or you can just take one at a time out of the freezer. If you're going to use something like this, you, I would suggest you use a wide mouth mason jar. You can also do that with just regular sticks of butter. Put regular sticks of butter in a mason jar, pull one stick out at a time. This is going to keep your food lasting so much longer and it helps you get those sales when you see them. This one here expires in about two weeks, so it's not even expired yet. All I'm going to do is put the lid on here and pop it in my freezer. I'm going to keep one in this freezer and one in my long-term freezer. Then all I have to do is take one little ball of butter out. You can actually make balls of butter if you really wanted to. All you have to do is let butter at a room temperature, shape it into balls and flash freeze it. But I think I'm going to keep my eye out for all of these different sales because butter is extremely expensive and you can really get some good deals when it comes to some dairy products. Now you can also freeze milk, you can also freeze anything pretty much that's dairy, you can freeze it. Yogurt doesn't freeze so well and sour cream doesn't freeze so well, but if you're using it for cooking it's fine. I like to try to freeze just about everything that I possibly can. And let's see, what else is really good freezing? Oh, 
One other thing that you can find really good deals on is cream. So that I use to make homemade butter. And I'm going to be doing lots of recipes in my cooking school where I share with you all different ways of doing just everyday things. But this is an amazing way to just snatch up some of them deals and use it for long term. I'm just about finished here. Patch your jar down a little bit, you can get a lot more. 